Cyberpunk 2077 has announced some key changes to the game and gamers are infuriated. Are they legitimately mad or is the outrage culture back at it? Let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please. So you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all, all of y'all straight up. Golly, I can't even talk today. Because you know why? I'm not too proud to bag. <laughs> Let's get into it, man. Hey, yo, I, I, I jacked that all up. But we go, we still going to get through it today, all right? So what's the deal here? What's got your boy all tongue-tied? Cyberpunk 2077. For those of you that are living under a rock, as I like to say, Cyberpunk 2077 is the heavily anticipated title from CD Projekt Red, makers of the Witcher franchise, okay? Now, CD Projekt Red's work has been heavily applauded, particularly in the wake and what many consider the quality downgrade from RPG developing peer, Bethesda. In light of this, Cyberpunk 2077, for what has been shown for the most part since its announcement, is one of the most heavily anticipated games as we close out this generation. However, recent activity is starting to raise doubts among those very picky gaming community members, right? CD Projekt Red, for instance, recently did a showing of Cyberpunk 2077 that was eh, less than impressive visually, having many screaming downgrade, including me and your boy Nethos when we was on Next Gen 720's, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, podcast not too long ago. Now the game is losing two key features. Key feature number one is players will no longer have gender classes to pick from. Yeah, you heard it. And secondly, cutscenes for the most part will no longer be presented in third person. Wow. <laughs> Gamers are crying foul first and foremost over the genderless effect, crying the infamous SJW claims, right? Um, you know that, and for those of you that don't know what J SJW means, that's a social justice warrior, meaning it, it, it's a dig at liberal politics within the gaming uh, culture, right? Um, also, gamers are even more steamed at the aesthetic updates. That aesthetic updates to their character will no longer be seen during gameplay. So what is the prescription here, all right, for this ailment, for this sickness? This is what your boy M2K thinks about all this. Now, the genderless option does not bother me at all because quite frankly, let's just say, for instance, if I want to play as a male, I will ensure that I pick traditional, traditionally male makeups, quote unquote, right? And vice versa, if I want to play as a female. Now, as far as intimate encounters, all right, that can get a little tricky. If CD Projekt Red makes the romance dialogue obvious, so those looking for specific romance encounters don't go down an unattended path, I see no foil. The truly troubling thing, though, is the cutscenes. Um, in a game centered around optimization, this is a big deal, as far as I'm concerned. I wonder if the, the drawback in the cutscenes uh, are, are newly recognized budget restraints, especially now that they're also planning to add multiplayer to the game. I wonder if this addition of multiplayer was a last minute thing to try to give the game some legs. Maybe they felt like that the campaign wasn't long enough. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? And if you're taking the cutscenes and you're making them only third person like the rest of the game, then that's less rendering that you're doing on the campaign. And maybe they feel that's necessary now, you know what I'm saying, to cut back development on the campaign to ensure that that multiplayer is ready at launch. Whatever the case may be, I don't know about you. I don't know what you think about this, but your boy thinks this could be potentially bad. But who? But what, what do I know? You know what I'm saying? Y'all tell me what you think, because like I always tell you, who cares what I think? Let me know in the comment section below. 
And like I always say, if you like what I have to say, you can catch me on the corner of every boulevard. You know what I'm saying? Check out the links below to follow me. And yo, I do a show with your peoples. Snow Bunny, Dirk Griggity, Nethos is called Scram Punks. We air it every Wednesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Dirk Griggity's channel. Check out hashtag Scram Punks for more information. Check out me and my brethren, the Broadband Bullies. We are doing the damn thing. Check out the links to the Discord, to Patreon, to the gear, because it's fly. And last but not least, check your boy out on the Hard Knock Digital Culture channel where we highlight hardcore gaming okay hardcore gaming anime martial arts all that stuff is coming soon but check us out either at mighty most uh, i'm sorry twitch.tv forward slash mighty most or if that's too much for you just go to hndc.live and you can catch all the content there and with that being said you guys have a wonderful wonderful gaming day peace